now we will be seeing the procedure on how to deploy the app on the device and then how to deploy it on the app store now to do that we first need to create a certificate now you can go to the developer.apple.com and there will not there is an option called member center now the registration is free of cost so you can register with your apple id or any email id fill up the form and when you open your member center dashboard on the home page you will be given this option this option and this option as a free once you enroll for your 99 dollars program you will be getting this temple uh, module this module and this module so i have already registered for a 99 dollar standard individual program so i'm able to see all my section so apple provides two developer license one is 99 dollars per year which is called standard license and another one is 299 dollar per year which is called enterprise license now the difference between standard and enterprise is that in standard you can distribute the app only through the app store whereas for the enterprise you can distribute from your own channel as well so individual is available for everyone the standard license but the enterprise license have some restriction it's not meant for the individual it's meant for the big organization now first we will see how to create a certificates and all those stuff and second we will see how to deploy it on device and then we'll see how to distribute on the app store so certificate identifiers and profile this is a section where you'll be generating all your required files for deployment so i go to this section now there are four subsection we'll see certificates now i have already created my certificate for development and distribution if you have not created then there is a very simple procedure to create it okay you first have to access keychain access now this keychain access is a central repository for your all the certificate now there you have to say click on keychain access certificate assistant and then you say create certificate or request a certificate from a certificate authority when you click this you can have your email id whatever common name you want i'll say priyank ranga and i say save to disk okay now this will con say save now this will generate a certificate request it contains your primary key and other information about your device hardware now if suppose there is no certificate created out there in that case you will be given a browser option browse option and you browse it and upload this request and say done it will automatically ask whether it's a development certificate or distribution if you say development it will get it created similarly when you say add it tell you which type of certificate you want to create then you say you want to create the apple store certificate and then you say continue and then it will ask you to do all this step which i was demonstrating and at the end it will ask you to upload that same request file so for your development and for your distribution certificate you can upload the same request file and then say done now this section you come only once a year for your development and distribution now pass type id is not a part of this course okay we'll be seeing in a upcoming level of tutorial what is passes and all and that time we'll see this type pass type now my certificate get expire on 4th april so i'll be doing a renewal of the certificate on the 5th of april before that i won't be touching this section now in order to make it compatible with your device or deploy it on your device you need a device udid now udid is meant for all the apple devices now i open the itunes and i see my iphone connected 
you see there is a serial number you click on that serial number it turns to the UDID and then you go to edit and say copy UDID email to the person whoever is your concerned person who is going to do it and the same procedure is applied for the Windows machine as well now in your devices you are going to have an option of adding 100 devices for your standard license and 200 devices for your enterprise license now these devices are valid developer devices and they can install the beta version of the Apple software not the actual production server application because this is meant for testing the beta version of your app when you click on this it says register device the name the allies name I say Priyang Ranka iPhone 5 and then you copy that UDID which I have just shown you okay and so if you want to say copy it you can go edit and some you say command C and you say oops it's not coming let me try it again the copy is disabled okay I say done again I go to iPhone click I get okay I have to just quit the iTunes right now I open the iTunes again let my iPhone get configured again with the iTunes I click I get an option of copy identifier okay and I paste it here and then you say submit I have this ID is already submitted on my portal and then you will see all this I always prefer to give the name of the family as a name now this is UDID and this is allies name okay so this is also done once in a year or once in a two three years now the most important thing right now so we saw certificate we saw provision profile now we'll see app ID app ID is a unique identifier for all your apps so we'll be creating an app ID for this app okay so I'll give a name like iOS level 1 I copy this name and you say I want to create explicit app ID now this bundle ID remember when you were creating a new project there was something grayed out bundle identifier now whatever you wanna put here is required so I said com dot nimap info tag will be the common name and I always provide the app ID as the so that my mapping becomes easier when I give my developer uh, a name of the app ID say iOS level 1 they know what is the bundle identifier it's com dot nimap info tag dot iOS level 1 if you have a different name the mapping will become difficult okay now is your app if you want to use any Apple, Apple provided service you can click none of these are part of this tutorial in a level 2 and level 3 we have all this feature covered so you can look for the further tutorials for exploring this part of the content and I say continue by default game center in-app purchase are enabled it's okay and you say submit so you have already submitted this app ID now once you submitted this app ID it remains part of your now the most important part again comes the provision profile app ID and provision profile will be there for each and every app you produce if you are updating you don't have to create a new profile or new app ID the same app ID will be used now app ID acts as your unique identifier by the app now what is profile this profile is installed along with your app it contains three information who is the developer who is the device and who is the app so we'll be creating the profile I'll say I'm going to create a development profile right now I'll select the app ID called iOS level 1 so I've created, selected this ID. I go, I say I have a NIMAP Infotech iOS development certificate. So I bind the app, I bind the developer. Now I select all my devices on which this version should work. I say continue. I give the same name as a app ID name because this file will be given to my developers who gonna deploy. 
So when I give this file, they come to know what is a bundle identifier. I say generate. And it will generate the file, which we will be downloading on a system, configuring to the Xcode and to your project. Now, once I get download, I will be pasting that file in my say given folder under iOS level one. Okay, I'll double click and it will open a application called iPhone configuration utility. If this application is not installed on your device, just Google it. It's a Apple freeware software, download it and use this for configuring all your profile. It says it will gonna expire 14 Jan 2015. Okay, I close this. I go to my session progress. I say 11 dot deployment. Copy my previous project in the new folder. Open the project. I click on the first file, which is called project setting. I go to the info tab. Now, whatever bundle identifier you mentioned during the de declaring of your project won't be valid. The one which you want to bind is important. So I'll say iOS level one. So this was the profile which we use. You can give a bundle display name, whatever you name you want. I say my portfolio. So you want to give, you can have spaces, whatever you want, uh, special characters. Make sure the name doesn't go beyond 11 to 12 characters. So bundle identify is the most important key to deploy your app on your device, which should be saved, which you have mentioned in your app ID and in your profile. Bundle display name you can give. Then you go to build setting. Make sure all tab is selected. You scroll down. There's something called code sign. There's something called profusion profile. Click on this and you will find iOS level one. Once you select this, you go to your code signing identity and select your developer license. So just make sure you verify it. Okay. So that everything goes fine. Second step. The first tab in info tab, second in your settings tab. Click on this part, go to your project level setting. Perform the same exercise under build settings. First select the profile, then select your developer. Make sure all your file drop downs have the same value. Bingo. Done. Now, you want to see the icons on your screens and all right so go to general tab now suppose you want to set your deployment target so backward compatibility you just say 6.0 now if you see there's an app icon launch images we use do not use a catalog now we import the icons on our own to your project so i go here in my given i have samples i say app icons I add them. So all the app icons along with the sizes have been added. So I say 57 by 57. I click on this folder, I'll see 57 icon. Okay, bring up. Then it says 114 by 114. I'll say 114. Wow, so simple, right? Yep, it's very simple. Streamlined process. You don't have to worry about the icon size, which I already mentioned out here get your resources done, import them and select the respective file. Do I have 76? I don't have 76. I'm so sorry. Do I have 152? I have 152. So, so make sure all your image icons are available. Spotlight icon also you can set whatever. There's a launch image. So when you open your app, you have that shutter animation coming up, right? So you can add those images also. So now I don't have a default image, so I have to import them also. So I say add files, I go to your given folder, I use level one, simple. There's something called launch images. I add them also. I go to 32480, I say iPhone default. I add it. It says rename, you say rename. So automatically it will take care. And then I have one more which says 768 by 1024. 
I say iPad default. Other one also you can create your resources and assign to the respective value. Done. Now if you run, you see your device connected, my device comes in and say run. It will generate all the packages and everything. And it runs on my device flawlessly. I cannot show you right now because I'm doing a screen sharing, but it's run properly on my device without any issue. Now you can also try it deploying. So I just repeat the first step is info, the second is build setting, then you go to project build setting and your general you assign your icons. Now that's it. Now if you want to see the icons and all on your simulator, you can just run it on your simulator. Say 4.3.5, I say run. See the launch image came. And then and when I stop, and I see the I have my icon my portfolio right so this is how the things work and now suppose you have now you have downloaded the certificate from your portal now you want to export that certificate so that other person can also use your certificate so you have group of people you can still use one license so under my certificate you're gonna find iPhone developer certificate which you have already downloaded you right click and say export so when you say export it'll ask you certificate i say nima dave certificate i say i want to have it on desktop you can put a password i say one two three four five one two three four five you can have your password set and i say create now once this certificate you can share the certificate to anyone you can double click it the concerned person write the password one two three four five and bingo the certificate is on and you can use this profile so we'll be sharing you this certificate so that you can deploy it your device on your device and all those things and then when you're ready you can purchase the license now this is all about the deployment on the device the next tutorial or next set of exercise we'll see how to distribute the ipa 